beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong hat. Okay, hold on. There we go. This should be a little bit. That's the wrong hat. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, this this is the right hat. All right, let's go ahead and roll the intro and let's get into this video. Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. And the house behind me is a crazy portal house. So before I show you guys this house, I want you guys to leave a like on this video. And you guys got five seconds to do that. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully you guys have left a like. And here is the portal house house look at this bad boy this thing is crazy ladies and gentlemen i present to you the portal house made by euclides uh the redstone was by one not joe and volt as well and the build was by lord not step block and it was made specially for me unspeakable so guys i welcome you to the redstone house and before we get into the redstone house i just want to let you guys know just a funny story just a funny funny story that we got just some jokes before we get started see this thing right here on my face a little scratch some of you guys may be commenting about this or seeing this and you're like oh my gosh unspeakable are you okay what'd you do did you, did you slam your mouse into your face no it was kind of like that basically i was getting out of the car and I was looking the other way as I was opening the door. I was looking the other way, not looking at the door, and I just opened it. And I didn't see, you know, where my head was and the door was, and it just boom, hit me right in the face. Now, I'm okay. It's okay. It's just a little scratch, but uh, I'm just letting you guys know because a lot of you guys are probably going to comment and be like, speak what did you do to your face? Now, if people ask me in public, I'm probably just going to be like, I just hit myself with my merch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll, I'll be okay. But for the next couple videos, you're probably going to see a little bit of this. But this house, like I said, created by Euclides, Redstone by Juan, Joe, and Volt. Uh, built by Lord Nopstap Block, and especially for Unspeakable. So this is the portal house, guys. Welcome. Let me go ahead and show you guys inside. And I promise this house will blow your mind. You don't even know. So that's our little sand entrance. Pretty cool. And then we walk inside and we have a beautiful beautiful living room and of course everything is made out of portals now right over here to the corner we do have a little bedroom with of course a purple bed and then right across the hall or the living room we have a little office where we can do some work now the most important thing about this house is you're probably looking at it and you're like it's makeable that's it that's really it. That is not even close to it. This is just the entrance to the real house. Let me go ahead and flick this lever for you guys. It's going to open up this secret staircase and we're going to go underground to probably one of the craziest redstone houses you guys have ever seen. And of course, this one is themed with a portal as well. So that makes it even better. Skeleton, I'm going to what 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 do you do? Are you is that is that your dance moves? Bro, bro, come on, keep it going. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't look at me like that. I'll switch this difficulty to peaceful faster than you can spin in a circle. Such difficulty, peaceful. Bye-bye. Let's go ahead and hop on this minecart and let's get the adventure started. So this is going to take us down into the actual house. And this house is massive, guys. Look at this. There's so many different directions to go. So many different things to see. When I started this video, you guys were probably like, oh, you know, it's just the portal house? No, that's nothing. We have so much stuff to see. So I gave myself a little bit of night vision so we could see better because it is pretty dark down here in the nether. So this thing is our selector. This is where we select where we want to go. Uh, so there's a lot of different places to go. I think first we'll go to our bedroom. So we'll go ahead and select it to the bedroom, step on the gold pressure plate, and it will give us a minecart. Then we're going to hop on the minecart, and this is going to take us straight to our bedroom. Now, like you saw on that selector thing, there is a lot of different places you can go. So many different places, it's insane. And then to get through here, you got to flick the lever. It's going to open a portal. Go through the portal, and it takes you to a hallway. And you got to walk through the hallway, go through the other portal. And then once you come out of this portal, we are now in the bedroom. Isn't that so sick? So that's how we're going to teleport around to all the different parts of the house. But this is the bedroom right here. Uh, we do have a little chest organization shulker system. This is really cool the way this works. So you can basically cycle through a bunch of different colors of shulker boxes. So we got yellow, then we can select it to green, and you can put different things in every shulker box. And then over here we have the bed. Pretty big bed if you ask me. Um, usually I like to take up the whole thing. My mouth usually takes up like 50% of it, and then the eyeballs kind of hang over the side, but you know, pretty nice bed. And then over here we have our armor system. So we can take off the glass and get the armor, and we can also switch it as well. So let's say I'm not feeling like gold armor today. You know, I want some diamond armor. We'll keep the diamond armor there. 
put the glass back over it so no one can touch it. And that is pretty much the bedroom. The design on all these rooms are going to be absolutely beautiful. But let's head back to the main part of the house. Let's travel back over to the control system. Go ahead and grab me a minecart and then hop in and we're gonna go back to the control system. Ah, oh, hello, control system. Okay, guys, what should we do next? I think for now, we're just gonna go in order. So next, we'll see the storage uh, part of the house and then we'll go to the kitchen and then the beacon room. I'm not sure what the door is. And then we got some farms to check out. It's gonna be crazy. So, oh, no, 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 come back, come back. Oh, come on. It's okay. There's a lot more minecarts where that came from. Come here, come here. I'm not losing you this time. All right, but now we're going into the storage system. So we got to walk down this beautiful fancy hallway. Flick this lever. It'll open up a portal. Go through this portal. Spawn into here. Walk through the other portal. I like these hallways. I like how they're set up. It's crazy. And then now we are in the chest storage system. So basically you have a crafting table that pops up right out of the middle. Just like so. Very fancy and nice. Uh, easy, 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 right? Just with a button. Then over here, we have an anvil refiller. So basically what it does is whenever the anvil dies, it instantly places another one. That is so cool. That is so sick. And then over here, just some bookshelves and another chest, just kind of decoration stuff. And then this is where the kind of redstone stuff is. So the way this works is you can get pretty much any item you want that's on here listed at least. So let's say I need a bunch of sticks. So you go ahead and press the button. And then it's going to give you a chest full of sticks and a bunch of other random things. That's just whatever I put in that chest. Now, let's say I don't want this. Let's get rid of that. And let's say we want the bookshelf chest, which I'm assuming is a chest to do with a bunch of enchanting stuff. So you go ahead and press that button. Did it not register? Register for me. Come on. Come on. There it is. Okay. And then this is stuff to do with bookshelves and wood and whatever. So you can pretty much organize all your stuff in categories and then put them in the shulker boxes, which is really cool. So that's pretty much it for the chest room. Beautiful, beautiful room. Let's go back to the control center and pick our next place. I know guys, I know this is a lot of information to take in. This world is crazy, man. There's so much stuff in this portal house. It honestly, it, it just amazes me. Like we will checked out two sections so next we're gonna go over to the kitchen gonna get out you're not running from me you are not running from me i'm watching you i'm watching you mine cards and then we are over here at the kitchen go ahead and flick the lever opens up another portal so we got to walk through all the portal hallways to get to the kitchen and then we are in the kitchen so the kitchen is probably one of the coolest parts definitely a very nice area you have a really cool system over here that basically allows you to automatically sort your food and stuff that you need to smelt. So in this chest, you put your fuel. So I'm going to put some coal in there. And in this chest, you put the items that need to be smelted. Now, it doesn't have to be food. It can be iron. You can smelt anything. And the way it works is it takes it and it's super, super quick. I mean, it can smelt nearly a stack of items in just under 30 seconds. Because the way it works is it doesn't just put it in one furnace. It spreads it out over like 15 different furnaces. So it's very quick the way it works. But then over here, we have kind of a ordering system. We can basically order food, I think. The way it works is you got to give the ingredients over the counter. So basically, I'm giving him the ingredients, the invisible little villager that's there. And then he should spit out a soup. Look right there. So we gave him the ingredients for a soup and then he spits out some rabbit stew. Um, and now you can do ingredients for a bunch of different things. Let's say we go behind here and we get some mushrooms. We can give it right here and then it should give us, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There you go. We got some stew. So, uh, yeah, you can pretty much give this thing, uh, anything you want and it will make you food. It's basically like coming home from the grocery store with all the ingredients and just throwing it in a pot and it instantly makes it for you. It's like magic. So that's basically one of like the best contraptions I've ever seen. Very, very helpful. And then our food should be done. There it is, our steak. Uh, got a cauldron over there. Very fancy, very, very fancy. But yeah, that is pretty much the kitchen. Let's go on to some of the next rooms because we still have a lot of rooms to showcase. So our next room is going to be the beacon room. And this one is pretty crazy. You gotta catch the train before it goes. Basically, this is a beacon that powers uh, most of this house. It also gives us a bunch of special abilities just as a beacon would. And you can change the colors of it. It's really, really cool. Here it is. Okay, so right when we walk in, you have the massive beacon down here. It is crazy. So you can change the power of the beacon. So let's say I want haste. Um, we might actually have to turn it. Yeah, we have to turn it on first. So let's first, let's turn on the beacon. So now we got haste. 
Um, you know, you can change it. I believe that one is uh, strength. So yeah, the sword is strength. So you can also change the color of the beacon as well. So right now it's on green. Now we can switch it to a darker green if you want, or you can switch it to blue, or you can switch it to purple, which is probably going to theme this house the best because it is a portal house. So I think we'll leave it at purple for now. So yeah, very, very cool, amazing room. This powers the whole house and it also provides us with strength, haste, uh, whatever we want. The next place we're gonna go to is a door. I'm not really sure what this category of the house is because I haven't seen the whole entire house yet. So I'm not really sure what the door is. It's gonna be a surprise for the both of us. We're going to the door. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Okay, it takes us to the front of the house, the door. It takes us back over to the entrance. Okay, that, make, that makes sense. Okay, let's go back down. So yeah, I, I was pretty dumb for not thinking the door takes you to the front door. Anyways, let's go to the carrot one, which is going to be our farms. Um, this one is also very, very cool. A lot of the farms that we have in this house are fully automatic as well, so you don't really have to touch any of the sugar cane or the pumpkins or the melons or anything like that. So the farms are actually pretty low. We're pretty much going to the very bottom of the house down here. Uh, it's a pretty long ride. It's probably the longest roller coaster ride out of the bunch. All the way to the bottom. There we go. So we're at the very bottom of the house. Not sure if you guys can see. We came from all the way up there. Uh, and then if you go down here, a fake portal as my entire life. So apparently this is a fake portal as my entire life. Okay. Okay. All right. I see how you feel. And then over here, we have the beautiful farming system. So on the floor, you have wheat, uh, beetroot, carrots, you name it. Um, and these are not automatic. We kind of have to farm these ourselves. But then if you look in the walls, there is a lot of farms such as pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, all in the walls. And those are completely automatic. You don't have to touch them, refill them, nothing like that. They're completely automatic. They plant themselves. They get rid of the uh, crops when they're done growing and they end up being stored in this chest right here. So let's see how much we got so far. So we got 46, that's not bad, considering we just started this world. And yeah, that's quite a bit of stuff. So you can see that those automatic farms are working pretty well. And then we got a cool walkway in the middle, kind of with portals to the side as well. So very, very cool. That is our farm, not the biggest redstone farm, but it's definitely a very useful one. And we're back. So our next one is going to be the Rotten Flesh one. Now, this one is actually going to be mob farms themselves. So kind of like XP farms and XP grinders. So we have some pretty... When it comes to XP, we're pretty serious around here. So we got some pretty serious XP grinders and XP farms. And we have arrived. Oh, hello. hello. Hey, did you get out of your cage? <laughs> Uh, this is awkward. Uh, what's up, dude? Uh, okay, so uh, basically you walk into here and this is a huge chest system where it basically automatically organizes all the drops. So you can see all the hoppers behind there. They completely organize all the mob drops. So you can see how much gunpowder we have, some arrows, bone. I mean, all these chests are just filled, filled up. But it's really nice that it's all completely automatic. Like, we don't really have to touch anything. Um, and then over here, you can kind of select what you want. So right now, it should be on strength, I guess. And then you can also press the diamond sword. It will give you a diamond sword. And then press the enchanting room. And it opens up an enchanting room over here where we can enchant. That is just so cool. And then we got some lapis over here um, and books. So this is kind of labeling that there's a bunch of lapis and books in here. There should be lapis on the side. Yeah, there's the lapis and then more books and stuff. So we can basically do everything we need when it comes to enchanting, getting XP, all the XP drops or the mob drops, uh, just everything is in one room and it's really, really nice. So you pretty much come up to here and all this stuff is just one hit, one kill. And the amount of XP that you get from this is ridiculous. Like, let's see how much XP we can get in about one minute. Let me go ahead and pull up my timer and here we go, three, two, one, start. Now we're currently on XP level six, so we'll just subtract that from how much XP we get. But let's go ahead and walk around here. And stop, there we go. So that is one whole minute and there's still a ton of mobs in there. And we went from level six to level 17 in just one minute. Imagine if you did that for 10. 20 minutes you'd be a level nearly a hundred like that is just insane how efficient the mob farm is so uh hey buddy how you doing you, you you're my little guardian so if any of the mobs get out you know what to do just uh yeah i'll see you later have a 
Have a good day. Um, yeah, just, yeah, just take care of everything, please. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, so let's go back to the control center. And, yeah, that XP farm, when I told you guys we don't mess around with XP farms and XP grinders, we don't. We are really serious around here in the portal house. And here we are back. Now, we only have one more room to check out, which is the book room. I am not really sure exactly what this room is i don't really remember but we are about to find out hello skeleton how are you doing today and then we are here okay so let's go ahead and open up the portal and let's walk through our glorious portal hallways glorious glorious hallways and we are here so this is the book room this is going to be a room for enchanting more enchanting indeed uh potion brewing and getting ender pearls. This is definitely one of the coolest rooms as well. Uh, we have an enchanting table right here, a really cool door that opens it up, and it also gives us some lapis right when we open the door as well. Then over here, we have a ender pearl kind of dispenser that just gives us 16 ender pearls whenever we want. Uh, and then over here, we got an automatic potion brewing system. So this is really cool the way it works. We can go ahead and switch it over to a gas tier and then let's go ahead and switch it over to redstone for duration and then press the button and what it's going to do is it's going to start brewing us some potions and then once the potions are done brewing they will be put in this chest so very cool very cool the way that works they do take the normal time to brew they're not like sped up anything crazy like the uh the furnace in the kitchen they're just pretty much just a normal brewing stand but it's all kind of you know a touch kind of interface it's not like you're actually working with the brewing stand you just kind of select it with item frames which is really cool and fancy but yeah that's the potion brewing thing and that is pretty much this room so uh yeah we'll go ahead and head back and back upstairs to the top of the house so let's go ahead and select the door Step on this pressure plate and let's head out of here. Hopefully there's no creepers or anything on the track that are going to stop us on our way out. But guys, that is the portal house. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this is one of the coolest redstone houses you've ever seen. And if you guys have ideas for any types of redstone houses like this, let me know in the comment section below because we are always open to improving and making better redstone houses. So I'll go ahead and close that up. And then we should be able to close the front door as well. So that is the portal house. Truly amazing what Euclides and his team can do. This is such a sick house. With that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any ideas for houses like this, let us know in the comment section below. We're always looking for ideas. Maybe next we can do a cacti house or something like that. Let us know some ideas in the comment section below. But guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Um, and be sure to leave a like before you guys go. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new Minecraft video. Woo!